I'm Jennifer Watson. Adi Amuda. Este Baskerville. And I'm the Community Relations Events Manager. Mm -hmm. Manager of Events and Entertainment. Marketing Coordinator for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Osa D. Mamiaparia. KJ Campbell. Videographer and editor. Motion Graphics Animator for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Paris Lawson, Digital Content Reporter. Will Clayton, Business Intelligence Analyst. Kelly White, Corporate Partnership Activation Account Manager. Ashley Barnett. Courtney Buckley. Ashley Klingscale. Season Ticket Account Manager. Cameron Turner, Event Presentation Coordinator. Guest Relations Assistant. Director of Corporate Communications. For the Oklahoma City Thunder. Overall, black history to me is American history. Black history was just my life. It's really about where we've come from as a race. A celebration, um, recognition, and showing acknowledgement to African Americans that have not only been influential for African American culture, but that have also had a big influence um, just around the world. All of our trials, tribulations, successes, failures. It matters to see representation. I love hearing other people's stories. I love, you know, uh, seeing people that look like me um, in this environment because. You know, once we get to, you know, creative spaces and, you know, just higher spaces in general, not a lot of people look like us. It's nice to know that there's people who do look like me and probably have had super similar experiences to me. Every African American has black history. Every person of color or every minority grew up with some, some form of fight and struggle and that, that story that they carry with them that makes them who they are today. Thankful for the people that were able to, you know, stand up to you know, racism and everything to, to help lead the way to make a change for what's going on now. To recognize that we're standing on their shoulders and to take that torch and try and move it forward. Everyone in my family went to a historically black college because that was our only option. Um, I'm a graduate of HBCU. My grandfather was a sharecropper. My grandmother had a third grade education and taught herself to read. So that is my story coming from the segregated South. My parents moved here from Nigeria uh, in 1980s, kind of started from the ground up. Um, came here on lottery, uh, visa lottery, and lived here for about six, seven years before they earned their citizenship. Living in rural Oklahoma, I live in a small town growing up. We were the first black family to move into the community. I was out in the playground during recess. I wasn't um, welcomed there, and if I came back, I um, was threatened with death threat. I had a high school counselor told me that I would never rise above, um, you know, I might be lucky if I graduated high school because of basically the color of my skin. Um, you know, he didn't think I could do anything but play basketball, so when I told him I didn't want to play basketball anymore, um, that I would be on welfare and I'd have four or five kids and I would never graduate to an advanced degree. And it sort of laughs now because now I've got an advanced degree. Um, you know, I was one of the first people in my family to graduate with a master's degree and I'm successful in my job. And it's just, um, makes myself really proud to think of the accomplishments that I've made. So my great grandmother, she was a uh, law school librarian. And while she was doing that, she obtained a collection of books that are, that are hard to come by, rare books, art, films, photographs. And over 45 years, she uh, like got all of these things. And now it's this uh, collection, what is known today as the Mamie Clayton Library and Museum. One of the largest collections in, in the world. It's uh, only second to the Schomburg collection in New York City. I just knew her as grandma, and I just knew her as this person who just epitomized what it meant to be strong. Yvonne Clark, uh, she grew up in Louisville, Kentucky, and she just always loved engineering and putting things together. She loved Lincoln Logs more than she loved dolls, and uh, but growing up in like the 30s and 40s in Louisville, Kentucky, it was just kind of like not the time that women were looking towards fixing things and building things, so she got ridiculed a lot. She went on to graduate high school a year early, became the first woman to graduate from Howard with a mechanical engineering degree, and then the first female African-American to graduate from Vanderbilt with a master's in engineering management. Went on to work at NASA Westinghouse, Ford, RCA, just being a, an integral role in mechanical projects all over the country and ended up teaching at TSU, Tennessee State University for 50 years. Great to, uh, to hear you know, other people's stories, especially since 
a lot of people that work here come from different places that you're seeing that you know, no matter where you're from, you can always uh, make an impact and, and strive for greatness. No matter who you are, you can always make a, make a difference. And so I think the, the significance of this project is that black history is everywhere. And yes, we have a month dedicated to it, but it's something that should be celebrated and recognized all the time. It's encouraging and it makes you want to do more for yourself to hear their stories. I know that I'm blessed to be in this role and not necessarily everyone had mentors or father and mothers in their life to push them forward. And so I want them to know no matter what, that you know, no matter where you come from, you've got somebody who's in your corner and has your back and sees something in you. It, it's important to work for an organization such as the Oklahoma City Thunder that understands the important to celebrate Black History Month, but also tell our story 365 days. It's not just today and you know, it makes me proud as an employee to be a part of this story and to be empowered by our leadership to do so.